Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the surface area of 3D shapes. Uh, this is the second video on this topic. Uh, so now we're going to be looking at the surface area of a cylinder. Uh, okay, so when you calculate the surface area of a cylinder, it kind of helps if you think about it in terms of three separate faces. Uh, so in a cylinder, there are two circular faces on the top and the bottom. Uh, so that's this one and this one. And then there's the rectangular face, which kind of wraps around the whole thing. Uh, so to calculate the surface area, you need to calculate the area of each face. Uh, so the area of a circle is pi r squared. Uh, so pi r squared for this bottom one as well. And then the area of the rectangular face, which wraps itself around the cylinder, uh, you can calculate from the circumference of the circle. Uh, because this length here uh, is the same as the circumference of the circle and we know that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. And then uh, to calculate the area of the whole rectangle, we multiply by the height of the rectangle. So uh, the total surface area of a cylinder is therefore 2 times pi r squared, uh, because there are two circular faces, that's this one and this one, uh, plus 2 pi r, which is the circumference, times h. Uh, so that gives us 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h uh, and that is the area of a cylinder. Uh, so the last skill is the surface area of a sphere uh, and this is probably the easiest one actually uh, because it's just a simple formula that you need to remember. So a equals 4 pi r squared. So the area is 4 times pi times the radius squared. So let's have a look at an example now. So find the surface area of the cylinder shown below. Well, we've already seen the formula for the surface area of a cylinder, and that is 2 pi r squared. So that's 2 times the area of the circular face uh, plus 2 pi r h. Uh, so h, in this case, is 25 millimeters. Uh, and we need to f uh, find the value of r, first of all, because we've been given a diameter here of 12 millimeters. So r is half of the diameter, uh, so r equals 6 millimetres. So if we put 6 and 25 into our formula for the area, then the area becomes 2 pi times 6 squared plus 2 pi times 6 times 25. Uh, and if you put those into a calculator, or you can do it in your head, uh, you should get 72 pi plus 300 pi. Uh, so the area is 372 pi millimetres squared. Now if the question asked us to leave our answer in terms of pi, that would be fine. Uh, or we can convert this to a decimal, so the area is 1168.7 millimetres squared. So let's take a look at a second example now. So a sphere with a surface area of 1,025 meters squared is shown below. Calculate the length of the radius, give your answer to two significant figures. Okay, well this time we're going backwards, uh, so we've been given the area and we need to work out the radius. So let's write out the formula for the surface area of a sphere, and that is 4 pi r squared. Uh, now we've got a, and we need to find r, uh, so let's rearrange this formula to make r the subject. And to do that, I'm going to divide by 4 pi, uh, so that will bring the 4 pi over to the other side. So I'm going to write r first this time. So r squared equals a divided by 4 pi. Uh, and then all we do to get r on its own is then when we square root. So r is equal to the square root of a divided by 4 pi. Okay, uh, now all we do is plug our numbers in. So our numbers, uh, or our number I should say, is 1,025 meters squared, that's our area, uh, over 4 pi. So let's plug that into a calculator. Uh, so the radius is the square root of uh, 1,025 over 4 pi. Uh, press equals, so that gives us a value of 9.031, uh, or to two significant figures, 9.0. And then the units of the radius will be in metres, seen as though the original surface area was given to us in metres squared. 
So if you want to practice this topic or see some exam style questions on the surface area of 3D shapes, uh, why not have a go at our online exam? You can get there through our revision platform. Uh, you'll find loads of different questions. There's a variety of different question types and you get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So it's really useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you need to improve at. Uh, so if you're interested, then click the link below and it'll take you straight there.